Hey YouTube, I podcast for life 165 here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can jailbreak the newest 4.2.1 firmware for every single device that's compatible. These are the iPod Touch 2nd, 3rd, 4th gen, iPhone 3G, 3GS, and iPhone 4, and the iPad. The iPad was newly ported to the 4.0 firmwares, which is great. Uh, now, this is a tethered jailbreak for uh, several of the devices. Uh, it is an untethered jailbreak for the iPod Touch 2nd gen and the iPhone 3G. It is a tethered jailbreak for the iPod Touch 3rd and 4th gen, iPhone 3GS and 4, and the iPad. Now, a tethered jailbreak means that every time the battery runs out or the device just switches off completely for whatever reason, you need to connect it to your computer and run the software again in order for it to boot up. This can be a pain if it like runs out of battery on you and you you need it at that moment to charge and you don't have your laptop with you, you just have like a wall charger. Um, it can be a pain, but otherwise it's not too much of a problem. So if you don't mind a tether jailbreak for the newer devices, then go ahead and do this. Now I'm going to show you that I'm on 4.2.1 right now. Settings. General. About. And uh, there you go, 4.2.1. And uh, there's going to be a couple things you need. One is the Red Snow software. This is the name of the software we're going to be using. And the other one is the firmware file for your device. Uh, one of the links in the description will be the dev team's blog. Uh, basically, it'll have all the informa information I'm saying in words. And uh, the link will be at the bottom for Mac and Windows for the Red Snow software. It's a direct mirror. The other link is for the firmware downloads. You will need it for your device. So go into the bottom section for iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, and go for your device, and for 4.2.1, wherever it is. So for whatever device you have, just click on it, and then click Download, and it'll download to your desktop. That's be the best place. As you can see, I already have both. And you need to extract the uh, folder inside uh, the zip file with uh, WinRAR or something. And uh, yeah, by the way, uh, you must already be on 4.2.1 for this. And do not upgrade to 4.2.1 if you haven't already, if you rely on an unlock. Because there is no unlock for the current firmware, even though there's a jailbreak. So you won't be able to make calls if you're using an iPhone and you rely on an unlock if you use T-Mobile or something. So uh, anyways, sorry, I'm a little sick, guys, by the way. And uh, we're going to run redsnow.exe. Um, definitely run as administrator, otherwise it might not work for you. Um, if the video does not work for you, go through it a couple times. And if it does not work for you, then go into Properties, uh, and go into Compatibility, and run in Compatibility for Windows XP. That's what I had to do, because it stopped working on me. So do that, and then, as well as doing that, uh, run as Administrator. Uh, do the Compatibility thing only if it doesn't work for you the first time. And uh, we're going to be greeted with the familiar Red Snow screen, if you've used it before. And uh, we want to click Browse here. And we're just going to double click on the firmware that we downloaded. It's going to process it. You click next. At this point, we're just going to turn off our device. So hold down the power key. You want to make sure it's connected first. So make sure it's connected, then slides the power off. And uh, by that time, this will be greeted here. And uh, we have a few options here. You might have more options depending on your device. You want to make sure install Cydia is checked off. Uh, battery percentage you don't really need. Custom bundle is out of your like if you're unless you're really advanced you don't really need to worry about that. Uh, then we have two options down here. Enter Pwn DFU mode we don't really need unless we're in like a critical state or something. Just boot tethered means that when you do have a tethered jailbreak and you want to boot up your device after it's switched off, you would need to just select this. Uh, just select this. Uh, so automatically everything else is unchecked and you would click this and proceed. But since I am jailbreak for the first time now and I'm showing you guys how to jailbreak, uh, I'm just going to pick what I want and that's install Cydia. Uh, if you are an iPhone 3G or iPod Touch 2nd gen, you can enable home screen wallpapers as well. But I really wouldn't enable uh, multitasking because it's pretty retarded, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but anyways, uh, keep Cydia of course and click next. If you're booting it for tethered, uh, it will be the same exact steps following this point. And uh, it's going to say make sure it's plugged in and switched off. We already have that covered. So now we're going to move on to the next step. This is going to include uh, doing some stuff with our iPod and playing around with the home button and everything. So I'm going to put the camera down and you want to click next. 
I'm just going to follow the steps that I do with you right now. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to click next. As soon as you click next, you're going to hold down the power button for three seconds. And then without letting go of the how, uh, power button, you're going to keep holding down the home button for ten seconds. And when that ten seconds is up, three, two, one. You're going to let go of the power button, but you're going to keep holding the home button down for around twenty seconds. Uh, you might not even make it to the 20 seconds. As soon as you get to the screen here with the progress bar and it says jailbreaking and everything, then you know you're good to go. And uh, if we look at our iPod, we're going to be getting some uh, signal of downloading jailbreaking data. So the jailbreak is running smoothly at this point. And when it says done here, we're done with our computer. And I'm just going to wait for our device to finish up the jailbreak. You'll have some verbose uh, command prompts here or something. So we'll just wait for this to finish. And now we're at the uh, pineapple screen, which is the final step of the jailbreak. And when that disappears, we should see our Apple logo appear. And our device is booting up now. And we should have Cydia on it, which means it is jailbroken. Alright, and we can slide to unlock. And we're going to find Cydia. It's kind of a modified version of Cydia, so it's not the regular uh, icon. Now, if you click on it and it just uh, boots you back to your screen, what you want to do is just reboot your device. So this means uh, holding down the home and power button together for like around 10 seconds. Past the screen here, just keep holding it down. Keep holding these two together until the Apple logo returns. And now we can let go. And like I said before, this is a perfect demonstration that every time you boot up your device now, since I'm using a third gen iPod Touch, uh, we're going to have to use the software to boot it up. So what we're going to do is, by now we can close out of Red Snow. And we're just going to open up Red Snow. And we're going to click Browse and do the same exact, exact process again. Double click. Click Next. Uh, we're going to just tick off just uh, boot tether right now, and everything else will automatically be deselected. Click next, and do the same steps again. I'm just going to skip through this real quick because you guys already know what to do, since I already showed you guys. Alright, and then your iPod will boot up just like this. If you get some kind of message saying you might have accidentally recovered recovery mode, just do the process again. That might happen sometimes. It happened to me this time. But if we slide to unlock, and now we click on Cydia. It should open up just perfectly fine. And it's a little bit of a new interface uh, when you greeted with it. But yeah, guys, you have Cydia, and you can start downloading your themes and everything. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you jailbreak any device if compatible with 4.2.1. Um, if you like this video and it helped you out, uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. That helps a lot, and you get to see whenever I make a new iPod Touch or iPhone video. And it just helps the statistics of my uh, channel anyways. Um, if you like the video, also make sure to give it a like down there. Well, my iPod just had an epilepsy. But yeah, make sure to give it a thumbs up down there. And uh, favorite the video if you don't mind as well. Whenever you want this video, you can just find it on your own channel. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any problems or feedback, just leave a comment down below. I'm going to try to get back to as many of the comments as I can for the first few days. But if it, reaches a point, if it reaches a point where it's just like 30, 40 comments a day, obviously I can't always do that. But uh, for now, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I really hope it helped you because that's why I made the video. And uh, please show your support back by subscribing, rating, and commenting. And uh, until the next video, guys. Uh